Hi, my name is Dominique Taylor. In six months, I'll be 16 years old and I can't wait. I'm going to have the biggest, most glamorous, sweet 16 party East High School has ever seen. Even bigger than Tyson Bruner's party. Although his parents did buy him a new car. Mom, I wanted the white leather. You ruined my party. See, I already bought my dress. Isn't it cute? Hmm. I wonder what my party is going to be like. Shoot, I want rappers and ballers at my party. Maybe Nick Cannon can be my date. Dominique, how you doing? Ooh, I'm fine. Ready to do this? Yeah. Kind of look good together. <laughs> but first, I have to get through the school year. I'm a sophomore, and next year I'll be taking the PSAT. That's the exam before the SAT. It tells you how you would do on the SAT test. Now, since there is a math section, and I'm horrible at math, my parents are paying for a math tutor. They said, no tutor, no party. I said, where's the tutor? We need to figure something out. Did you talk to your boss? Yeah. And? I'm at the highest allowable salary for my position. Okay, what about a promotion? You've been there long enough. You hardly ever call in sick. And you know everybody's job inside and out. And I already told you. My supervisor said without a college degree, there's no chance for a promotion. I see that all the time at the plant. These college grads coming up in here making three times what I make. And I've been there for 10 years. And it's about you now. Maybe you need to go back to college. And you know we can't afford that. It's better to be broke just a few years than to be broke for, for the, the rest, rest of, of our, our lives. lives. Good morning, baby girl. Good morning. Is somebody going to answer the phone? I have to go to work. Bye, Daddy. Mm, bye. Do you want me to answer it? No, you're going to be late. Oh, let's go. Probably a creditor or something. Can we get a latte? You were gonna be late. Mom, come on, we already late. Come on, we'll hit the drive-thru. I'm calling from credit card collections. Please call me back. Mom, I'm late. Well, you had to get your mocha. Dominique, take this. Okay, now give this to your math tutor and tell him I'm sorry about the last check and make sure he redeposits it, okay? Okay. Here, take this. Buy yogurt or something. Bye, Mom. Bye. So did you order your invitations yet? Nope, not yet. Tyson Bruner, he did DVDs, and he handed out like 200 of them. It was so cute. It was like he did a little movie of himself. Well, I was thinking of gift bags. Nice, like the film festival bags, you know, with all the free samples. Um, yeah, but something like that. Wanna get a latte? I gotta go see my math tutor. Bummer. Bummer. Come on, you know this. <sighs> Respect the parentheses. What's a mnemonic device? Come on. Please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. That's right. What's it mean? Parentheses, exponent, multiply, divide, add, and subtract. Right. That's right. That's right. Good job. Now do it. Come on. This is stupid. When in real life am I ever going to have to solve for X? If you want a good job, you have to learn how to solve for X. Why do adults always talk about jobs? I'm 15. I don't have any bills. 
If people retire at 65 or so, why do I want to start thinking about a job at 15? 65 is like half a century away. Dominique. Yeah. When is your test? Tomorrow. Then focus. But math is so lame. It's 10 o'clock, baby girl. Time to go to bed. Wait, wait, wait. Let me just order a sample invitation. No, 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 no. Baby girl, you know the rules. 10 o'clock means Dad. 10 o'clock. Why you gotta bug me all the time? Ugh. Time to go to bed. 10 o'clock means 10 o'clock. You wanna know why? Because the best part of my day is when I get a chance to come in here and tell you good night. You're gonna do things that I never ever dreamed of. You got a chance to go to college and figure out whatever it is that you wanna do. And I thank God every day that I get a chance to sit back and watch that happen. Aw, oh, Dad. <laughs> Tomorrow, your mother and I are going to be taking the day off to go see a financial consultant. What? And figure some things out. Is everything okay? Yeah. Yeah, just a little money trouble. I'm still gonna have my party, right? Yes, baby, you're still gonna have your party. Okay. Who loves you? You do. You darn right. Good luck on your test tomorrow. <laughs> Mrs. Taylor, unfortunately I have some bad news. You're gonna lose your house and probably your cars too. There's nothing we can do at this point. You told me that you had our back. I apologize, but I understand, you know. Sir, listen, I do have your back. You have too many loans right now. And that's why we came to you. Would you want me to put your baby girl and your future out on the street. Sir. We're trying to raise a family here. Sir, it's not me keeping you out of your home. Sir. Look, sir, it's not me. I'm trying to do my best.